and my name is Amanda and I decided to do this video response um to I believe it's John for Lakers who originally asked the question at least that's the first video I saw but anyway his question was what made you make the switch um I actually have not switched yet hopefully um, I will be a Mac user by January or February um, but he asked if you're thinking about switching, you know, why would you want to switch? So, um, and I'm ADD, so I have to have something to play with while I do this. So anyway, um, first of all, let me just kind of just briefly tell you, I have been a PC user my entire life, ever since I could use computers. Um, my dad is a computer uh, network administrator. He wires computers together, for those of you that don't know what that is. Um, but anyway, he's always built my computers. Um, I've never had to pay for a computer ever. Um, so kind of beggars can't be choosers. So, um, I've just always had a PC. Well, in the last year is when I've seriously started thinking about, um, purchasing a Mac. And, um, I used to be one of those people that was like, you know, hating on Macs because I was like, you know, a Mac can't do what a Windows computer can do and whatnot. But the more I'm researching Mac, or I should say Apple as a company, um, to me at least, it seems far superior. Um, a brief story, kind of just my ex like exposure to Apple computers. Um, Everyone saw Legally Blonde. You saw Elle with the old, uh, the first, I think it was the first m version of the MacBook. You know, they used to have the plastic with the colors and you could pick, you know, your color like if you were red or purple or orange or whatever. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. You know, you'd have a computer where, you know, it's personalized and all this stuff. And I just, you know, back then I was in high school or I was just out of high school. So I didn't, um, what's the right word? I just didn't have the funds or anything to actually purchase a computer and like I said you know if I needed a new computer I could get one like free and clear so I never you know just thought about it so um, when I seriously started thinking about an Apple computer was in the last year when I started doing videos on YouTube currently now I do them on my Kodak camera which um, is good quality as far as like picture but like certain things like if I want to show the name of a product and I like hold it like here to try to like have it focus or so you can see it. It doesn't autofocus. And I just, you know, I saw these other gurus and people doing beauty related videos, which is the videos I normally do. Um, and just, I was just seeing that their focus was a lot clearer, their quality was clearer, their audio was clearer. Just their videos just seemed a better quality. And the one thing they all had in common was they were making them on a MacBook. Uh, it's, you know, just to name some few, all that Glitters 21, Floppy Net 20, uh, X3, Juicy Star 07, they all had a MacBook. They had the original, the white neoprene one. So, I started thinking about purchasing one, um, just for the built-in eyesight camera, because I thought it would be better, you know, to have a better quality. But then I started looking at prices, and I was like, oh, okay, well, that's a lot to pay for a computer when you can get a HP that has a, a, a camera for that, you know, whatever. But really in the last month my computer has gotten so slow um, I have a Dell Latitude D18 um, laptop and I mean it has basically just Vista and a few games like and they're not even like gra high graphic games they're like little you know seek and find games I play on the internet but anyway and AOL that's it but um it just like I find like if I'm run if I'm writing if I'm running a scan of some sort like a, a spyware scan or something like that it just takes forever forever and it slows the computer down like nobody's business it just altogether makes the computer a piece of crap I don't like it at all so um, from what I've heard from uh, you know, from videos I've watched of people's reviews of Mac products, they don't have the they they don't have as many issues as I'm having. Um, then about um, I think it's a year ago, we went to my friend Paige's house. My friend Paige lives in Charlotte, which is like three hours from me. And we were sitting there, and I noticed she had the white Apple MacBook, and 
and I said, oh, you know, you have a Mac. When did you get that? Oh, I, you know, and I said, well, how do you feel about it? I love it. She said, I would never go back to a, a PC ever. So she said, Apple is like the best thing that I've ever had. So I asked her, could I play with it? She said, no, couldn't touch it. <laughs> so <laughs> I kind of laughed about it, but she let me watch her play on it. And it just seemed like an all better user experience. Um as far as a computer goes and so I you know went to uh, Best Buy which um, we don't have an Apple store where I live the nearest Apple store to us is like an hour away and an hour and a half actually and the Best Buy is like 45 minutes and so I went just you know to check out some models and look at them and see you know and really kind of play with them because you know I'm going to feel I like to try before I buy so Every time I go to Best Buy, I go to the Apple con the Apple counter and I play with the computer and I, you know, use it like it was my own. Like I'm not afraid to go to YouTube and look at videos. I'm not afraid to go to my journals and look at things, my websites that I normally go to. Um, you know, just you know, use it as if I was at home, and it just seems like such a better experience. The graphics are better. Um, just the screen size. It just, and all in all, it's a better looking machine. And. Um, I don't mind paying um, for my, for for a computer now because in the last year I've kind of learned that you can go cheap, but if you go cheap, it's not going to last you as long. Um, I feel like I'm a big believer in you get what you pay for now, um, simply because of um, the fact that. Um, the fact that I've had this laptop maybe about a year and a half and I feel like it's not already an obsolete model it just is so slow it I've reformatted it twice it just is so just a piece of crap I hate it hate it hate it and I just feel like everyone that has a Mac like I said uh, my friend Paige has had hers over a year and a half now I believe and she has no problems with her she says it is the best thing that she ever did she said she switched all her products to Apple products she got a home computer you know everything she has is Apple now and she says she never looked back so I am so excited um, and um, I'm gonna do another video I think um, for those of you who are finding this through my channel and not through the video response, if you're interested, um, and as I know I've had a couple people who I've talked to that are interested in purchasing a Mac, if you want to know like certain differences between purchasing at Best Buy and whatnot, I may do a video. Because I went to Best Buy like a week ago and I talked and I cornered him and I said, okay, these are the questions I have. Um, can you help me? And every question I asked him, he had an answer for. And I am a big believer and I'm a big lover of people who, like, if you go to an establishment and you're going to purchase a product, especially if you're going to put over $1,000 down for a computer, I'm a big person in believing that I want the person that I'm buying this computer for, if I have a question, I want them to know. Or if they don't know, I want them to say, you know what, I don't know, but let me find out for you and go find out. I'm a big lover of that. I love that about customer service, which I had that from my Apple from him, and I just love it. So, um, anyways, um, I'm going to leave this as a video response, and um, if you come to this through my channel and would like to see that video, or if you find me through the video response and would like to see that video, you can message me there, wherever the button is. Anyways, guys, uh, bye. Have a great day. Bye.